War on the Shore organizers say that after much research, analysis, and discussion, they feel it's best to suspend the event for one year, releasing the following statement in part. The War on the Shore Board of Directors would like to thank the thousands of volunteers, partners, sponsors, vendors, citizens of Erie, participants from around the country, and the Manufacturer and Business Association as the founding sponsor for their role in making War on the Shore one of the biggest charitable events our community has ever seen, while simultaneously injecting millions annually into our local economy. The event spent 12 years in downtown Erie, and even though the rally moved last year, businesses say they still saw revenue because of it. I think it's a big disappointment because we've had a lot of business from more on the shore. A lot of people like the um, events going down here, bringing the kids. With some businesses disappointed that they won't see extra revenue, one owner is advising to stay hopeful for the future. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, so we'll just have to adjust and uh, hopefully uh, hope that they will come back someday. This announcement comes after the unexpected death of the event's executive director, Ralph Pontello. Organizers have chosen to host a memorial rally for him in place of the bike week. He was the, that, that particular event and had so much passion for it. But I think it's, it's a really strong statement of by saying we respect and honoring him was, is a smart move. The memorial ride for Pontillo is expected to occur sometime in July.